Hi everybody. Guess what? It's 10.32 at night. The Lord's not going to let me go to sleep until I get this off my chest. Have you ever been abused? Sexually, physically, mentally, and financially. And this goes both ways. I'm a 20 year survivor, and I know it was a very, very hurtful time for me. But I overcame it, and through my walk with the Lord, He has allowed me to write about it, and reflect back, and to try to help others that are going through these, through this kind of a life that really it's not your fault. And it goes both ways. It could be either for women or for men. I know that there's women out there that abuse their husbands and there's but generally it's the man that's doing the the abuse. Well I'm here to try to describe to you, give you some symptoms of how all of this comes about. You know, you could be in a relationship, a really, really, really good relationship, and then all of a sudden, something happens. He goes and leaves you for another woman, or another man, whatever. And you end up in a relationship on a rebound because you didn't give yourself enough time and you need to give yourself if you if you end up in a situation like that you need to give yourself at least two years before you get involved with anybody else get well you can get involved with them but don't go and live with them don't have their any of their children just date and get to know them as a friend then because if you go in in a relationship on a rebound you really don't know that person it happened to me and you know everything was really you know sort of good i knew there was something wrong with 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 him from the very start but I thought he'd overcome, you know, I thought he was just having a rough time and he'd get over it. Well, about a year and a half, I guess it was about, it was about a year or so after we were together and I became pregnant with one of, one of this first child. I was about three weeks pregnant and all of a sudden things started happening. Things that you really don't want to go into a lot of detail but I'll just say very quickly that I was dragged by the hair is where it all started. Dragged down the road I've been kicked between the legs. I've been smacked in the head. I had been, uh, my head slammed against a cupboard door. I've been scratched, bruised, beaten. And in, in all of that time, I just want to I'm just, that's all, black eyes, whatever. That's all I'm going to say about that. But I want, 
what I specifically want to say is how these things kind of start. And alcohol can be involved, drugs can be involved. Um, but it starts out with like nagging and nitpicking, and it escalates into arguing back and forth, sarcasm, uh, in your face kind of stuff. And the one person that's doing doing the verbal abuse is going to put the other person down and make them feel that it's their fault. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's not your fault. The person who is doing the accusing and the abusing and the and the sarcast being sarcastic is the one that has the problem. The one that is is the drinker that is the alcoholic has the problem. You are not at fault. Okay, so moving on, it goes through that stage and whether or not it's financial, he may or she may uh, prevent you from uh, having a certain amount of money um, only enough to go and buy groceries and some most of the time it's not enough not enough money to pay for the bills um, you're kept isolated you're not allowed to have friends and if you do have friends then they'll make a way to make them angry or say some things or not say anything and give your friend the impression that they're not welcome so then they just don't come around anymore it eventually escalates into a violent act once they slap you punch you whatever they'll do it again. Then, after that experience happens, then you go through a honeymoon period, is what they call it, where it's, oh, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I promise I won't do it again, I'll do better. Well, once you've been in the women's shelter a couple of times and you've had the, the, the cops at your door several times and you've had to call them several times, it's time to get out of the relationship. And especially if you have children, that's where it came to is the Lord I came to I went got to the point where I was going to commit suicide at one time. The Lord said, "What about the children?" And that I stopped right then and there and that's exactly what happened. I started thinking about my kids and how it was affecting them and it was just like bang, the Lord just put it on me and the Lord is not going to make you stay in a in a relationship that you're unevenly yoked. He does not want his bride to suffer. He does not want his bride to be in that kind of a situation He was a devil, I swear. When I looked into his eyes, I could see a devil in him. And it, he was, uh, he did not believe that there was a God. And so, but I knew that God existed and I knew that I was being protected. 
So for all of you that are being abused in any way, shape, or form, if you've ever been hit, slapped, punched, whatever, don't let them tell you that it's your fault. If they don't want to go and have, uh, go in and get some help, no matter how much it hurts, don't go back to them. Get out of the relationship. Leave it. Move on. You can do it. I did it. I survived. And my walk with the Lord has grown mega bunches and I talk to him every day and he's just been awesome I've always known that he was protecting me I love you all and if you anybody having this kind of a a problem. I have done writing on my testimony. I'm just doing this freelance right now. But I have some information and I'm there I'm here to help if there's anybody out there that is suffering from the hurt and the confusion and the belittling and making you feel like you're worthless I'm here to help call on the Lord Jesus make him Lord of your life he will change you and his Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit the Ruach HaKodesh will fill you up, read your Bible, pray, and talk to the Lord, because He wants you as His bride, spotless and without wrinkles.